Pisa, in deepest Tuscany in Italy. More than eight centuries old, the leaning tower of Pisa stands, or rather lurches, 56 metres in height, which has always made it an object of wonder. What, to you, does the lean mean? That it, the soil tilted? Very good. Maybe. <laughs> we don't know. Maybe power. The lean means power. Power. No. The earth, oh. earth power. Yeah, it's, a, it's amazing, but I don't have a, an explanation for it. Uh, how, I know how it comes, but uh, it's uh, very special, it's uh, unique in the world, I guess. It's always been a popular tourist wheeze to pretend to be propping up or pushing over the leaning tower of Pisa. But for a while, that wasn't funny anymore because the tower was actually falling over. This tower has always leaned um, because the ground with sand and clay. And uh, the tower is very heavy for a little base and uh, high. And so uh, the tower goes in, in the ground. I'll have uh, problems to stay right. 20 years ago, engineers declared it was in danger of toppling over. An intricate plan was then conceived to save the tower, involving soil removal, water draining and lead weights. And it was successful, ensuring the tower stability for another 200 years at least. But straightening the tower was only one part of the rescue operation. The next job was to clean the facade after centuries of acid rain, pollution, seasonal change and compression of the stone blocks caused by the lean itself. No easy task. We have uh, different damages. We have the losses with decay and then after also the, the fills uh, between the, the, the blocks. And we have 29,700 blocks wow. of this tower. There's a bit of a joke around these parts that the leading tower of Pisa is, after all, just a bell tower. Interesting, maybe, for honeymooning couples and day trippers, but that's about it. It's when you get up here on high that you realise the real architectural splendour is out there, in the field of miracles. It represented uh, Pisa when Pisa was a, a rich and powerful uh, city during the Middle Ages. The, the cathedral represented the first monument to be built and it's uh, a kind of, uh, of pride that we have uh, and uh, the architects who built these monuments, they also built the other masterpieces of architecture in Tuscany. And one of Pisa's most famous residents, perhaps even better known than the Leaning Tower itself, is very keen to promote the city's other cultural assets. Everybody comes to Pisa for the Leaning Tower, but <laughs> how much more to this city is there? Pisa is a city historically important. Historically, Pisa is important in the bigger picture of Italian history because it was an important maritime republic has an important university where Galileo Galilei studied and taught. In short, it has many important things that one can visit. But let's face it, Andrea, without that peculiar tilting structure in the field of miracles, Pisa would not be so well known by the rest of the world. What does it say, perhaps, about nature? That it's perfect. Don't die.